Okay, so today I'll be showing you the Onkyo NR656 and uh, what we are doing today is uh, replacing the board. Uh, one of the HDMI output has uh, gone bad. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, there is a board. Um, I'm going to be replacing that board and I'll be showing you guys how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is uh, remove the screws and remove the top cover. And uh, there are two screws on the back that you need to remove and uh, three on each side. So you're going to have to remove these uh, three screws on both sides and uh, remove the cover. So once the screws are removed, just lift the cover. And once you lift it, they just keep lifting it. Uh, because there are notches on the front um, and Once you lift it you can just pretty much lift it up Okay, so now the main card is this board right there and for you to remove this board a couple of things to keep in mind This screw needs to be removed. There is this plastic notch that you have to squeeze in and uh, pretty much like you know squeeze this and pop the Bring it up a little bit so it's very easy to do. Uh, you have to remove this. It just basically pulls out. You have to remove this HDMI. You have to remove this another connector connection. So just pull this connector up. Just be nice and gentle with it. Now a few ways to do it. I mean, if your new card already have uh, the Wi-Fi connector, you can leave uh, that one in and just connect the whole thing. But uh, the new ones usually don't come with it, so you're gonna have to remove this card. And uh, it's uh, very simple. Just remove that screw, and uh, you can pretty much remove it. So let me show it to you guys. I think I lost my screwdriver. You need, a, you need a really small uh, screwdriver for you to remove this because it's very... So here it is. So you need like something like this, really small. Just unscrew it. Apologize for the lighting. So once you lift this, you can pretty much just slide this out. There you go. And just you might want to just save the screw somewhere safe so it doesn't fall inside okay so once this is removed uh, this is the main thing uh, so these just you can just pull it out nicely just make sure you do it even so you don't damage the connectors and same thing with this this kind of goes at the bottom so it's nice and easy firm pressure on both sides and just kind of wiggle it towards outside and it'll come outside okay so once uh, all these connectors are removed uh, what you need to do is on the back there are screws that are holding the HDMI ports and you're gonna have to remove all these ports uh, all these screws um, I think there are eight or nine screws that you can have to remove so once you remove this port all these uh, screws the board will kind of come loose a, loose a little bit and then that's when you're gonna have to pry this, pop it out, and the board is basically being held up by these two uh, connectors. So let me go ahead and remove these bolts and I will show you how to okay, remove Okay, so now we have better lighting. Okay, so what I did was I removed uh, all these screws from the back and uh, I removed this particular screw. And uh, now the board is basically being held by these two connectors and this notch right there so the way to get this out is basically just press the corners and uh, you can pretty much just lift it so let's see there you go you know what I haven't lifted now for you to get this out you're just gonna have to hold this I can't be holding the camera and doing this but uh, you're gonna have to make this make its way out and uh, just have to hold this board make sure you hold it from your one hand and uh, try to wiggle this out uh, little by little make sure you don't put a lot of pressure because there are pins that are holding this and uh, you're gonna see it coming out so I'm going to take a break right here and see if I can uh, try to do this there you go I think I'm gonna leave the camera here and uh, just try to do this and see if I can do this um, so I'm gonna nice and easy I'm gonna you can you can see 
it's coming off right right from here so not the first one but the second one that's when the pin is going to start to come off and there you go you can see there you go one of them is out and now the top one is out there you go now you can see the whole board everything is out and just nice and easy grab the board and uh, pull it away and now you can install your new board so this is the old one and uh, I have my new one right here this is my new board and I'm just going to install the new board in the backward position pretty much putting everything in putting everything so together now I have the board aligned and uh, it's not in all the way but uh, I'm just aligning the pins and uh, put this aside and do, do your best to make sure you don't uh, misalign these because these pins are very delicate and if you misalign it it's gonna go somewhere else it's gonna bend and you're gonna damage your new card so you definitely don't want to do that so there you go I think it's uh, it's going in make sure you slightly gently push it and don't put a lot of pressure because you don't want to damage anything so I'm gonna put the camera down because I don't want to be having a shaky video and uh, try to put this in once I this once I put this in I'm gonna go ahead and put a screw right there and uh, I'm gonna make sure the plastic uh, piece I put it there and uh, pretty much start putting the screws back on the back panel once all those screws are back, uh, you're going to connect uh, this connector. You're going to basically go backward, connect this connector. Uh, make sure you connect this one. And uh, the last one is going to be this. And uh, remember your HDMI uh, for the front port. This kind of connects to your front port. So connect this guy. And uh, once all these are connected, the very last thing we're going to do is uh, put this back in, slide it in and don't forget your uh, screw on top and once you do that that's pretty much it guys uh, and everything should be ready to go uh, and you can power it and enjoy your new card that's it